<laughs> hey guys. Um, sorry if any of you tuned into my... Can you hear me, first of all? Because I have... <laughs> Just tell me if you can hear me. I, don't, I can't figure out how to work the sound on my phone. Nah. I hope it's working. Anyway, I'm just going to proceed as if you can hear me, and if you can't, you're probably better off. Um, great that I got this. Is it hanging on my face? I swear every time I go to do a Facebook Live, some new thing crops up on my face, uh, some form of acne, and it's very frustrating. Granted, I know that sounds a little cr like, I get it, like, this is just one thing, but still, it's very frustrating because it's, like, annoying. Plus, I have makeup on the other things that you can, that you can't see that I'll never let you see. Um, so sorry if you tuned in earlier, uh, and then I just kind of left, but I got a phone call and then I had, I had to take the phone call. So I, like, I had to put the, the Facebook live down. Um, but you're all very important to me. Just not as important as that phone call. Uh, no, seriously, I just, I, it was a work thing that I had to, had to take care of, but you guys are, uh, are great. Thanks for all the sweet comments. So anyway, I am doing a and a session right now. If you want to send in your questions, I'll answer as many as I can get to over the next, uh, until I get tired of hearing myself talk. So, over the next five days, I'll be answering these question and answers. Uh, send stuff. Hello, hello. Okay, hey, Mexico. Jesus, Adrian, Ibarra. Um, any sort of questions that you have, the more interesting, the better. I'm not going to answer something if it's, uh, lame. So don't, so don't be lame. Um, thanks guys for the nice comments. Always very sweet. Always really, uh, honestly, I really like seeing you guys all say nice things because it's nice to hear nice things about yourself and to feel loved. And that's what I feel when I, uh, when I do these Facebook lives. It's great. Um, <laughs> I feel weird saying that because I feel weird. I feel, okay. Because I have such opposing thoughts on social media, I feel weird saying that I, that I like, that I appreciate this and feeling loved when at the same time it's like I recognize that there's a certain disparity between social media and real life obviously that's like you know this is different than if a friend were to to any any number any specific friend were to give me like you know five minutes obviously it would just feel so different but I hope that you know like I'm trying to be sincere and not just say like oh I'm like fans yeah you guys are great so I'm 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 trying to be specific here but I'm falling short and I'm sorry about that um, just thanks if you guys are watching this or supporting or whatever. It's nice and just that's know that that's how I feel. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Probably overthinking it. Um, do I speak Spanish? I don't. Um, I don't. That's, that's where the answer ends because I don't even know how to say, how do you say, nada. Right? Um, if you could change the world, what do you wish? Um... If I, what do I wish if I could change the world? Oh God, a number of things. Um, if I, but then I wouldn't have things to keep wishing on. So maybe I don't wish anything changed at all. Uh, I, I don't know. The first thing would probably be maybe getting, getting rid of like cars, making transportation a little easy. I know it's kind of a little easier. I know it's kind of lame. Um, but I, yeah, what else is there? Getting rid of cancer. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, I saw somebody's comment that was interesting. Oh, who do I look up to more as an artist? Literally the guy that I was playing earlier, whose name uh, is John Bellion, or I don't know how you say his last name. Um, I love him as an artist and think that he's really hit the nail on the head and he's doing some really amazing things and pushing, pushing music forward. Really, I respect anybody as an artist who's trying to push things forward and, you know, or succeeding in pushing things forward, uh, in a big way and, and causing other people to think about the world differently. Anybody who can turn your point of view up on its head and make you say, oh, well, maybe I didn't see it that way before and open your mind a little bit, I'm super into that. I love I love people who make me um, think differently about things. Diego, hey, uh, from, hey, El Salvador. Uh, it's cool. I've never been to El Salvador, but I hope to go there sometime. Um... Eric Sloan. Oh, I actually have a movie. I have one movie coming out that's called Pet. It's a psychological thriller. Um, I shot that a couple months back. It was really, really fun. Um, it's, it was very different. I had, like, fake tattoos put on me. And um, the fake tattoos would, like, peel off throughout the day. So then I'd have to, like, wash, wash them all off and then re reapply them. But it took hours and hours. And I was in the, pro like, in the trailer 
going through the process for a long time, I definitely drawn my patients, um, tested my patients, I should say. And then uh, I also have another movie coming out called Little Bitches, and that one I got to do with a couple friends of mine. One's name is Kiersey Clemens, and another is Ginny Gardner. And it was a super, super fun shoot. It was like It's like a teen comedy, and it's starring girls, which uh, I like. It's uh, just like girls talking about sex and all that kind of jazz. Uh, I guess as high schoolers do, I wouldn't know because in high school I was behaving like I was 10 years old. I didn't, I was, I think I was like kind of mature, but also just like held back by, uh, by wanting to be younger and wanting to stay a kid longer. Um, hey Brazil, hey Mexico. Um, I think what's your favorite musical? What musical? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I want to say I'm not huge on musicals. I'm trying to think I really liked Singing in the Rain as a movie. Oh, and I just saw La La Land, and that was unreal. Um, it was so good. I loved Emma Stone and um, Ryan Gosling together. I think they're magical. Um, but the movie itself was really, really interesting. And, uh, yeah, I think that's great. I can't think of, like, a musical that I've seen that I would want to be turned into a movie that isn't hasn't already been a movie. Um I, I'm sure Hamilton's going to be made into a movie. I haven't even seen it, but I, so I don't know why I said it. But I hear it's supposed to be really good. Um, uh, uh, I never had a backup plan. I never, I never had... Oh, you know what? No, I did have a backup plan. College didn't do it. <laughs> so, awesome. Uh, Freddie Benson or Nathan Kress? Nathan, definitely. Freddie Benson's not Nathan. Like, I know... I know who Nathan is, and I, Freddie Benson is a guy who holds a camera and says in 5432 and talks about, like, underpants or something. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Dominican Republic. And also, if you guys, I'm so sorry, but if you text, if you write something in another language, my uh, linguistic shortcomings will show because I won't be able to uh, answer you <laughs> since I don't speak another language. Um... Ian Barron, I, yeah, I, I like you, Why you don't need to cry. It's like a cry face after you say, do you like me? Um, sure. That sounds good. Um, Caesar Falcon, did Eric Andre manage to make you uncomfortable? He did. He succeeded. I respect what he does, uh, and that he likes to make people uncomfortable. I think that's really fun and, like, a, a unique angle, and we don't see it often enough. Uh, like I was saying, in terms of, like, people the things that I respond to are when people are pushing things forward and trying to think about things differently. I definitely left the Eric Andre shoot thinking about things differently because I have ne I don't think I've, I've definitely been made that uncomfortable before. I should take that back. But it was like a different level of discomfort. Um, there were like rats biting my toes. And then, um, then he just talked about some things from my past that were a bit uncomfortable, uh, and asked me a bunch of questions and, sh and like shoved a chainsaw on my face. So yeah, easy to say I was uncomfortable um but Eric Andre is awesome uh and then I actually ran into him near I was taking like a workout class and I ran into him out front of a Rite Aid near that workout class a couple months afterward and we like took a picture together and he sent it to the crew and he was so nice and um yeah I think he's a cool guy it's funny you guys bring it up I was actually talking with my cousin about Eric Andre the other day because he is a big fan um all right let's see um thanks guys I love the little hearts. They're so cute. They just like fly, fly over the screen. I don't think I've ever, you know what's funny? I don't think I've ever watched another person's Facebook live. I should probably get on that. I don't even think I've ever had an alert sent to my phone. Maybe it's something that I need to change in notifications. Somebody said, what about your soul? Um, what's a soul? No. Uh, what about my soul? I don't know. <laughs> it's there. It's alive. It's kicking, I think. Um, Sometimes I question it for sure, but I think we all do. Um, Angel Rodriguez says, do you like to drink? I like, um, I like certain drinks. Yeah, I don't like to drink. Like, I don't, I think as an activity, no, there are other things that I would rather do, but I, I definitely, um, I know my way around certain, like, whiskeys and, um, I don't know why I say I know my way around. No, I like certain whiskeys and I like certain wines and I like, uh, but sometimes wine gives me a headache. Like I don't know. Yeah, I like I like uh, to drink, but I'm not like a huge, not a big drinker or anything. Um. Oh, love to go live with me. Okay. <laughs> Fun. I'm just I, you guys. The the nice comments are great. Uh, it's just nothing. 
for me to respond to. Do you like burritos? Um, yeah. Weird thing is I've been going through the, <laughs> through the Del Taco drive through recently. <laughs> I thought that's one thing that's one thing that I was like maybe this is a I was I do these like weird like monthly kind of check-ins with myself to be like oh what have I done this month what have I spent most of my time and last month one of the things that I realized is that I went to the Del Taco drive through <laughs> too much so I was like maybe moving forward uh into November I need to cut back on the Del Taco because we're doing the we're doing that a little bit too much um but I love their ground beef burrito I know that's probably disgusting to some of you health nuts um, and honestly, I try to be healthy sometimes, but it's just, uh, too hard. So sometimes I don't, and I get my ground beef burritos. Don't judge me. Flying superpowers or super strength? I would pick flying for sure. Um, yeah, I feel like flying would be way more fun than super strength. It'd be, it's cool and weird. Um, my favorite fast food burger is, is, a probably a Whopper. That's coming to mind. Or In-N-Out. I actually haven't had a Whopper in forever. I've had In-N-Out more recently, though. Um... What musical would you like to do? I don't know if I would want to do a musical. Maybe if there was like a, oh, the Frozen musical, come on, of course. Uh, and I would want to be Olaf in case you were wondering. If you could be any kitchen appliance, what would you be and why? Um, microwave, because they heat people up. Um, Jeanette, you're, oh, thanks, that's nice. Do you like guys with tattoos? Uh, I would say I'd. Um, I look at what's on the inside, so I don't really, Mm, so nice. No, I don't know. I don't really... I'm trying to think if I've dated guys with tattoos. I think I've dated a few guys with tattoos. Maybe not, though. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know. I'll, th I'll, uh, I'll think about that, but I definitely don't mind a guy with a tattoo. I'm curious to hear the story behind it and uh, why you did it. Do you like Canada? I love Canada. I love, uh, I love, love, love Canada. I've been to Vancouver. I've been to Toronto. I spent more time in Toronto. Um, but I've spent probably about like a year of my life collectively in different parts of Canada and I think it's awesome. I think the people are, you know, as nice as you would expect. The restaurants, the food's delicious. Um, I've only been to Canada in the winter time, so I can't, oh no, no, I've actually done press there in the summer. So I like, uh, yeah, I like the seasonal shift. Um, it is really difficult. I actually shot a show in Toronto though in the dead of winter and that was difficult because it was so freezing. Uh, I felt like I was going to. Freeze my nuts off. What is the advice you can give to people that is not overly used? I love that question. Sahel Nagash, that's that's a great question and I appreciate your thoughtfulness. What is the advice you can give to people that is not overly used? Um, now the only problem is I don't have an answer. Uh, advice that I can give to people that's not overly used. Um, I'm, tr I'm honestly trying to think of something good here. Okay, I think I might have touched on this in a previous Facebook Live. But uh, authenticity is coming to mind. I think being authentic to yourself and knowing the things that you want in your life and the things that are important to you, knowing what you want to give your attention to and what you don't and deciding that for yourself and not, not what that means to anybody else and you know not what's important to anybody else but really figuring out what's important to you so that you can live your most authentic life. I feel like that's, um, to me, that's what is going to lead you most to... to happiness. I don't know. I, that's just a personal thought, but, uh, yeah, I'm curious what you guys think and what you think leads to happiness. Cause that's always an interesting thing to hear people's thoughts on. Um, let's see. Would you date a cop? Uh, I don't know. A little too rule based. I think for me, i I tend to be a little bit of a rule breaker. Perfect pizza toppings. I like, um, probably Hawaiian pizza or cheese pizza. I have been snowboarding. I fractured my wrist. Haven't been skiing. Want to go. Um, hi, Nick Williams. Hello. Uh, winter or summer? I'm going to go winter. I love Christmas. I'm a winter girl. I'm pretty excited by the, even the weather shift a little bit, uh, here in LA. I know it's not much, especially for, you know, those of you who are used to the snow and everything like that, but it's, it's pretty fun. Um, hello, hello. Hello, Puerto Rico or Hawaii? Oh, I've been to Hawaii. I feel like I might have been to Puerto Rico at one point, but I don't really remember, so that doesn't count. I have been to Hawaii. I've been multiple times. I uh, like it. Um, yeah, it's fun. I've done like zip lining and gone to this really cool theme park called Ishkaret there. Um, no, oh my God, Ishkaret is in Mexico. What am I talking about? 
Jeez, <laughs> I gotta get my story straight. Um, but I, but I definitely have been to Hawaii. I'm not wrong there. And I, I, last time I was in Hawaii, I tried one of those weird like sticky rice blocks with spam on it. Seemed like a crazy person, but really dug it. And then I went, I rode like four wheelers and um, went down like down a weird river thing in a in a raft, and it was just just super fun. I, 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 I dig Hawaii. Um. Sure, like The Walking Dead. I, everybody talks about The Walking Dead. I've never seen it. Um, and I'm a fan of the horror genre. I am not going to say I'm not a fan, but I'm also not a fan. Um, <laughs> um, who is your favorite person whose name begins with M? That's a question that my friend Mia sent in. Um, <laughs> so... I'm pretty much cornered on this one. I can't really, I can't really say anything. I can't really say anybody else. Um, my friend Mike. No. Uh, wait, what was I gonna? S oh, fan of the <laughs> fan of the horror genre. I don't know. I like it. Some. I, honestly, I'm not like a huge fan. I've seen some really good horror movies, but I'm not just like naturally grab. I don't naturally gravitate toward that genre. Um. Cool guys, I have to go run a few errands and make it to an appointment a little bit later this evening. Um, but good talking to you, and I will catch up with you later.